Greetings. Uh, this is Robert Forsh. I wanted to uh, go live right now, show you a shot of the moon. I'm also doing a uh, recording uh, that I'll be posting on YouTube of the same broadcast. And I'll post them concurrently or side by side, I should say, on, uh, on my Facebook. What I, what I want to do is uh, reach as many people as possible. And there's a bit of a, uh, a division of sorts between my Facebook uh, presence and my uh, YouTube presence. And I want to bring that together a little bit more. Uh, one of the things that I do is uh, I use a P900 quite a bit to show people a world from a different perspective. Uh, a long distance type of uh, reach. Uh, this is uh, in real time. Let me um, get that out of the way. I'm going to zoom out so you can uh, actually see what this looks like right now. And I'll uh, make a, a shot of this with uh, the iPod Touch. I'm actually recording on the iPod Touch, which I will post on YouTube when I get back in a little bit. And so I've got some operational challenges with all of this. And I just wanted to uh, let people know I have a desire to reach the world for Jesus, basically. I believe God's word is true and all others are suspect and should be compared with scripture. This particular broadcast is going to be about 15 minutes long. The uh, tide is coming in right now. I wanted to cover some big issues. Uh, the world central banking system, uh, basically the biggest Ponzi scheme ever perpetrated on humanity. The toxification of the food, water, atmosphere, and also what we uh, are exposed to with cinematography as well as uh, television, supposedly what's news in the mainstream media is all highly controlled, all of it. So for example, uh, dinner in a movie is dinner in programming just so you're aware of that. As always, I, I like to show people my contact information, but you can't see it too good that way. Let me uh, flip it around. The uh, YouTube channel is Robert Forsh. My Gmail account is robertforsh at gmail.com. So if some of this on the live broadcast sounds redundant, it's only because it is. I've got uh, two devices I'm working with and I need to um, flip them around and get the lighting on both. It's not coming through so good on my iPod Touch. So what am I gonna do here with that? Maybe wait until there's a little more light my iPhone does a better job. It's R-O-B-E-R-T-F-O-E-R-T-S-C-H at gmail.com. 5084, one for the country code in the United States, 843-504-1776. Okay. So what I wanted to cover basically are some of the really big issues <clears throat> that are affecting our world right now. Uh, there's wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, all of that type of thing is going on. Some of the people that are blowing the whistle on weather modification still use a globe model in their projections and in their <clears throat> explanations. And if they're in the truth movement and they're unaware or don't believe we're on a level plane, there's actually a mountain of evidence that we're not on a globe. Pun intended. It's more of a level plane. Uh, the water is mostly level. I've got uh, a lot of video of what I would call uh, 
or what I have called sea level liquid mirrors. You can see the level, okay, all around. Uh, there's a little bit more elevation up over here. Uh, if there wasn't, it would be wet. That's pretty much how that works. One of the things that I wanted to point out is I've driven all around North, North America, uh, mostly in the continental United States, some into Mexico, some into Canada. I had a high performance diesel Volkswagen that was uh, chipped, basically chipped in that it, it got really excellent fuel economy. I've seen as high as uh, 62 miles per gallon in real time, according to my uh, fuel measurement system, and that would be on a really level piece of ground or maybe going downhill a little bit. And you may think, well, why is that important? Well, the reason being is I've driven from coast to coast in that vehicle. And I could tell when I was going uphill and downhill based on fuel economy. And then uh, when it was really level, it looked level for a long time over areas like Kansas. You can research this if you care to. No matter how much proof I present to people, if they uh, don't have a love for the truth, they're not going to get this. That's pretty much how that works. It's only by God's grace anybody can love and believe the truth, let alone find it. In the quote-unquote truth movements, there's a lot of disinformation, a lot of uh, what I would call uh, paid trolls, shills, and then the, the deceived. By irony and paradox, the deceived don't know they're deceived. With pride as a catalyst, they may view themselves as very intelligent, well-informed, and, uh, well, if they're deceived, they're, they don't know it. That's the irony and paradox of that. The uh, curvature of the earth can't be calculated uh, or it cannot be found. Uh, if you find it, private message me. Uh, send me an email or a private message in uh, Messenger. The reason why I say that is I don't debate on my posts. It's not practical. Eight inches per mile squared couldn't be navigated by any locomotive ever constructed. What would that look like in North America from the... Uh, coast where I'm standing at right now that we're that we're looking at right out here we're uh, we're in South Carolina or that's where I am right now and all the way to uh, Myrtle Beach area South Carolina to Long Beach Southern California as the Eagle flies or as the passenger jet flies is roughly 2300 miles Eight inches per mile squared would mean that there's a, a hump in the middle of the country, in the middle of North America, of roughly 650 miles high. It's not there. All the navigation that you can look at on Google Earth is calculated at a, on a level plane. They do not take into consideration any curvature because there is none. There's no curvature. There's elevation all measured above and below sea level. That's what you're looking at right now is sea level. Sea level? Look at my photo album if you like. All my posts on Facebook are public. However, you need to be a friend to be able to comment. If you start, if a person, not you obviously, because you're friends. <laughs> However, if some troll comes on board uh, and they sneak in there for a little while and make a bunch of ridiculous uh, assertions that don't reflect reality, I'll have to unfriend them because I don't allow my Facebook or YouTube presence to be a platform 
for somebody else's misguided or intentional deception. That's just what I do. I'll, uh, I'll unfriend. There's a lot of apparently well-intentioned people that are deceived. Here's where it gets really interesting to me is that God's Word says in 2 Thessalonians 2, chapter 2, they refused to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion. There's a delusion that's so powerful that if possible would deceive even the elect. The elect will not be deceived. God's Word is true all others are suspect. God's Word, the Bible, is spiritually discerned and it is foolishness to those that are perishing. It takes less than a day to hear the entire New Testament. Did you know that? So when I am uh, resting and maybe sleeping or meditating on Scripture, I can be listening to it. I can be listening to God's Word. It's a powerful part of prayer in my life to be able to know what God, my Savior, Jesus, the embodiment of truth, the way, the truth, and the life, the way to where? Well, the way to heaven. Uh, so He is the embodiment of truth, the creator of the world that we live in, and the biblical perspective on this creation is that he created this world and uh, he didn't need or use evolution uh, to do that. Six literal days of creation, I believe, are biblical. The fact that we're on a non-moving earth means we're not spinning, hurling through space, wobbling, gyrating. It's all absurd. Uh, there, there are differences in density and mass that cause things to float or fall. We've got boats that'll float on the water, and yet there's and a, a feather will fall through the atmosphere, float on the water. However, there is no force that stops a boat from falling off of the opposite side of us, wherever we are listening to this or looking at it. So buoyancy is real, aerodynamics, hydrodynamics, fluid dynamics, all very real. Please consider as a catalyst uh, for consideration my YouTube liked video playlist. There are people that have developed uh, very thought-provoking videos to expose the truth and the deception that is so pervasive in our world right now. The sun is approaching right now at this vantage point, and it will appear 125 miles uh, behind me, roughly, uh, roughly six or seven minutes from now, or I should say when it appears here. We won't see it immediately because there's too much marine layer. Where the sun and the moon appear and vanish from a given perspective, this is one that I'm aware of. Tides Near Me is an effective app to let me know when they're scheduled to appear and vanish. Their appearing and vanishing from this vantage point is not accurately described in the heliocentric spinning ball, the global lie. Their duration of visibility in relationship to one another varies up to four hours three to four hours. That's not possible on a, on a spinning globe model. That's a lie. They appear and vanish from way over here to way over there. Okay, I'm trying to, I've got my hand showing. It, it varies way too much to be explained by the globe model, the global lie. You can, can 